Welcome back to the Getting Started course. In this video, we'll begin creating the application and we'll start by creating a view to list all of the to-dos on the UI. Then we'll set up some JavaScript to load data into the application and we'll wrap up by binding that data into the UI to have the to-do items displayed. Head over to your AppSync workspace and go on to create a new application. The first thing we're going to do here is set the canvas size to mobile device because we want this application to be responsive for mobile devices. Next, we'll start building the UI of the application by bringing in a few needed widgets. The first widget we'll be bringing in is going to be the container widget. So let's search for the container widget and we can drag and drop it into the canvas. Let's extend its size so that it takes up the entire space. Next, we're going to need a tab widget, which is going to allow us have two views, the first being for the list view and the second being for the edit view, which we'll work on later on. And lastly, we're going to need a list widget. And this is going to allow us to display a list of to-dos on the UI of our application. All right, now that that's done, we can actually start off loading data into the application. And to do this, we need to create a few JavaScript files to load the data into the application. So to do that, head over to the Explorer tab and you want to go into the Queries and JS section to create a new JS object. We're going to be calling this file the data file and this file is going to have two variables. The first being a variable called todos, which is going to be an array of todos in our application. We'll set this off by initializing it to undefined but later on, we'll have this variable loaded with actual to-do data. The next variable is going to be the dummy to-dos variable, which is going to have a list of dummy to-dos for us to start our application building process. Now that this is done, we're going to create a new JS object and we'll call this the app file. This file is going to contain JavaScript functions and helper methods needed to build this application. We're going to delete the contents of this file and create a new function called the init function. This function is going to initialize the value of the to-dos variable and we can access that value by typing in the name of the JavaScript file the variable lives in, which in this case is the data file, and we can access its value by typing in to-dos. So that will be data.todos. And we can set its value to the value of the dummy to do's, which can be accessed by typing in data.dummy to do's. And hitting Ctrl Enter or Command Enter is going to execute this function. But we want this function to always run on page load. So I'm going to head over to the settings tab of this file and check that function to always run on page load automatically. Now, heading back into the canvas, we can actually start binding that data into the UI. So I'm going to have the list widget selected and in the items field, I want to start writing a binding to link the data coming from the to-dos variable into the list widget. You do that in AppSmit by writing bindings using the mustache syntax, which is the double curly braces you see on the screen. And in there, you can write a JavaScript expression. So let's write a JavaScript expression to display the value of data.todos, which is the to-dos variable. And you can see in the evaluated value pane, we have that data being passed into this widget. The next thing I'm going to do is set up the data identifier, which is a list of keys used under the hood by React to identify each item in the list. This has to be a list of unique string keys. What I can do is use the item index in the to-dos array. So I can call the string function to convert them into a string and pass in the current index, which is going to evaluate to the index of items in the to-dos array. And you can see we have that there. Now that we have the data binding complete, let's go in to prepare the list widget to display the to-do items. We can start off by deleting the image widgets and the text widgets that are on the list item by default. And then we can go into bring in a new text widget to display the list title. And this is going to be used to display the list title. Something you'll notice is that 
whatever action is carried out on the first item in the list is replicated throughout other items on the list widget. So we can have that text widget selected and we can go write a binding to display the title of the list widget by accessing the current item property of the list item and selecting the title to be displayed. And as you can see, we have the to-do item displayed. I'm going to resize the first to-do item so that we're able to see more items on the page. And you can see that we have a beautiful UI which allows us to display to-do items added into the application. So we've taken a look at creating a view to display to-do items using the list widget. We've also seen how to load data by writing JavaScript. We created a to-dos variable and we have that initialized using the app.js file in its function. And lastly, we took a look at how to bind data to the UI by writing JavaScript using the mustache binding syntax. In the next video, we're going to build in a new feature into the application and we're going to work on creating to-dos on the app. See you in the next video.